Now that we have our Git repository created and we've shared the project on GitHub, we need to create a README file. So if you're looking at the project here and you just created a new project, it says help people interested in this repository to understand what your project is all about by adding a README file. So you can do it here and then pull it down to your project or you can just create it in your project and push it to GitHub. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're here in our project and I'm just going to right click and go new file. And this is going to be readme.md. MD stands for Markdown. And IntelliJ has some really nice uh, support for Markdown built in. Uh, do we want to add this? Yes, we do. I'm just going to say yes. So <clears throat> Markdown, if you're not familiar with it, I'm going to include a link in the additional resources, which kind of explains how to use Markdown. But Markdown is just using some text formatting and producing HTML with it. So in our case, we're going to come over here and we can give our project a title. So we can say something like, let's do spring it. And we can use equal signs here to kind of say that this is a header. We can have a paragraph here that tells about our project. We can have another paragraph. And as you see, uh, it's really nice that as I'm typing Markdown on the left, it displays what, what it's going to be rendered as on the right. And so this is helpful because if you didn't have this, you're kind of just guessing at it, and then you commit it, and then maybe it doesn't look right. Um, so you can do other things here. If you wanted to display some code, you can use some uh, backticks here. So, oops, we need one more. And now what you can do is actually put some code in here. So this is some code and you'll get that nice formatting block. You could also do this inline with a single back tick. You can do things like say this is a list. So there's our list. If we wanted to create bullet points we could do that if we wanted to bold something we could do that if we wanted to italics we could do that um oh well, actually yeah, that's wrong um so that's markdown i'll give you a link to markdown in the additional resources um, but what i'm going to do here is actually delete all of this and I'm going to link to this as well, but I found a template on GitHub for creating readme files. So one of the things that I'm not very good at, and I'm completely uh, open to um, telling people about this, is I am not good at documentation when it comes to my personal projects. So I really want to start with this project to kind of try and fix that. So I'm using a GitHub template that has a bunch of information in it on what you should include in your readme file. So I'll include that, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna paste this in here. So there's a lot of stuff here, but it has project title, uh, one paragraph uh, project description goes here, how somebody can get started, how can they install it, running the tests, breakdown into end-to-end -end testing, um, coding styles, deployment, what what projects your project is built with, how they can contribute, versioning, uh, different authors on the project, the license, and then any other acknowledgments that you want to add about the project. So this is a really great starter and what I'm going to do is add some information to this and it's not going to be finished. I mean right now I don't know a ton of stuff about I don't have all the information about this project, but I'm going to give it a, a, a quick start and then we'll kind of update this as we go throughout the course. And I'll kind of mention that, hey, I'm going off to update the readme file with these, you know, X, Y, and Z. So one last thing with this though, this should not be a everything documentation. This is really just like a quick overview of the project. If you go back to GitHub, there is a wiki section, so if you want to create documents, 
more detailed documents about your project and you know different aspects of the documentation this is where you can create that documentation the readme file is just a really uh, big overview and all the things like somebody might want to consider when getting started with your project so that's kind of the the difference between the readme and the wiki so i'm going to go off i'm going to update this and i'm going to go ahead and push this and actually, let me update this. I'll pause the video so you don't have to watch me type through this. And then we'll talk about pushing this up to GitHub. All right, so we're back. And I've just kind of filled out some basic information here. You're, you're going to see a lot of to-dos there still. So things like getting started and prerequisites, installing. These are things that I'm going to fill in over time. Uh, I did add some information about built with, so you can see built with Spring Boot 2, Spring Framework 5, let's get rid of that one, um, about the authors, uh, so if anybody else contributes to this project, I'll be sure to list you there, uh, the license, acknowledgments, so that readme file that I was telling you about, the GitHub template one I found, uh, so I said thanks to Purple Booth for the readme template. Thank you to the Spring Boot team for the awesome software. So this is just a good start, um, but I just didn't want to start with the name in one sentence. So I'm really going to try and focus on creating some better documentation for this project as we go. So if you don't see something there, please call me out on it uh, and get me going. Um, so with that, uh, we have a README template, and we need to get into GitHub. And so we're going to do that now. Again, I use the command K uh, shortcut, and that'll come up. These are what's unstaged, so I'm just going to add the readme file. So we'll just say adding a readme file with some initial documentation. So there that is. We'll go ahead and commit. Now, before, we were just committing. Uh, because we didn't have GitHub set up yet. Now we can actually do a commit and push, and that's what I'm going to do here. So we're going to say commit and push, and it's going to go there, and now we're going to do a push, and one file committed. So if we go and pull up GitHub, and we go to the code, now you'll see the readme file, and that's what is presented to someone when they visit your repository. So you see how I have some nice information there. Here's that template. So if we open that in a new tab, this is that template by Purple Booth that I was just talking about. And really just something good to go ahead and go ahead and get started. So that's it for the README file. Again, I know it's pretty basic, but I think it's important, especially if people are coming across your projects. And if there's no information in there, it doesn't really help them at all. So it's one thing that I want to try to get better at, and you should too. Um, with that, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next lesson.